Hey guys, bit of goings on at the old Japanese farmhouse. Some of you might remember this old toilet. It's got one of these systems where when you flush as it fills the cistern, you can wash your hands. So very eco uh, ecologically friendly for washing hands. So we've got that. We've also got the bathroom has a big basin in it for washing hands as well. And there's this thing on the wall, which we've sort of ignored since we moved in the house. And can't even remember, 11 years ago, I checked that thing, there was something wrong with it, and just decided we didn't need it. So we've just been putting empty toilet roll holders and <laughs> random things in it, and it's been totally dry for 11 years. So just got curious about it and thought, what was wrong with that thing? Can't remember. So the bathroom's there to your left. That's where the basin is, washing hands. You've got the thing washing hands on top of the toilet, so this thing's really not important. But just sort of got curious one, after, one rainy afternoon, Got the unskilled plumber onto the job. So that's a funny sort of mechanism there at the top. You push it up and the water comes out with sort of a spring action and then it stops automatically on its own. So that's what it's supposed to do, but it wasn't doing that. It wasn't doing that. You'd push it up and the water would just keep coming out and it wouldn't stop. So that must have been the fault that stopped us from using it 11 years ago a lot of things like that sort of got put on hold 11 years ago because we had to prioritize and get other things done first so what we're trying to do there is just free up there's a spring inside that pushes the the handle back down again and it seems to be a bit worn out and a funny mechanism there as you can see so just trying to get it loosened up obviously it hasn't been used in 11 years and it wasn't working 11 years ago so it hasn't fixed itself so the idea is try and loosen it all up and get it working again. What was that going past the screen? Something with a headset on its head. And again, all these tools are being that are being used are, were all here when we moved into the house. And a little bit later on, we need a pretty big tool that I didn't even know we had. I went and checked the, the, the big tool collection and it was in there. So just amazing. Just about every job you've, you've seen us do over the years has been done with tools that were already here in the house. So it seemed to be working. You can see at the bottom there's a little fitting down here. You just put a screwdriver in and it closes the water off or you can s decide how much pressure you want coming out. So just trying to get the adjustment right. Too little was no good, too much was no good. Trying to get it where just enough will come out to wash your hands and then it'll stop on its own. Yep, that seems right. So there was a bit of celebration about now. Hey, wow, got this thing working. Beautiful. 11 years of just having it used as a little storage space <laughs> for empty toilet roll holders and random things. And we've got the thing working. Oh, well, that's going to be convenient. We've now got three places we could potentially wash our hands. Two hours later... Notice the big puddle of water on the floor, <laughs> right? This is one of those jobs that gets worse. The more you do, the worse it gets. So it turns out that somewhere inside that unit, it was leaking. So I had to take it off the wall and take it off to the workshop to have a look at it. And the fitting there is ridiculous. The fitting at the top to the left there is a good one. And the rest of the fittings on the wall were good. But where it joins in here is just this dodgy sort of a plug-in type thing that has no real fitting to hold it there. It just sort of sits in there. So the male has a, a sort of a rubber grommet around it, and that's it. It goes into a female fitting, and it just sits in there. Just not adequate, really not adequate. So obviously when it was brand new, it was adequate. But as it's got older, that rubber grommet's probably a bit bit dried out and the fitting was a bit sort of corroded inside well not corroded but just not clean so cleaning it up didn't happen to have a grommet the same size but it sort of seemed okay once it was cleaned up clean up the inside of the pipe so that lock job we had recently just was one win after another this was sort of the opposite <laughs> But it didn't go too badly, didn't go too badly. So back on the wall again. It just had two big sort of hooks at the top to hold it and then two long screws at the bottom.
and doing up the fittings again. Oh, well, there's a little, uh, tiny little grommety water softener, I think you call those things. It's sort of like a little filter that went at the bottom. Almost forgot it. Turn it on. It's not leaking. Happy days. We now have three places to wash our hands. <laughs> anyway, that was that. More videos coming soon.